Covering Wisconsin weather for 19 years, Chief Meteorologist Cameron Moreland. Cameron's just bragging about what a good weather guy he is. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All the time. <laughs> no, but I think a lot of people will be happy with me. Let's take a look at your seven-day temperature trend. Yes, it looks like we're going to finally turn the corner and head into a more spring-like pattern as we move into next week. Highs tomorrow and Sunday will be in the 50s to around 60, mid to upper 50s Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. And then on Thursday, a warm front moves through, and that means it is going to warm up. Temperatures are going to zip up into the 70s and 80s across central and southern Wisconsin. Right now, we are looking at cool conditions. Once again, temperatures running 10, almost 15 degrees below normal for this time of year. Lower 50s just about everywhere. Our normal high is now in the lower to mid 60s. 51 degrees in Green Bay. It is cloudy and it is raining. Surprise, right? Here's precision radar showing some scattered showers moving through during the early morning, afternoon, and now this evening a larger batch of showers and sprinkles making their way across central and eastern Wisconsin. Today's showers are being produced by this little system right here. Now moving into northwestern Wisconsin. We've got a break behind it and then there's another system out across North Dakota. That's going to come Swinging through here tomorrow, you can see it is also producing some scattered showers from southern Canada down towards Nebraska. So precision cast shows a good chance for showers this evening. Tomorrow morning, clouds mixing with some sunshine. We'll actually see a good deal of sunshine across the area tomorrow, the most in over a week. And that could help to fire up a few more showers as that next system moves in during the afternoon. High temperatures tomorrow with that sunshine will be the warmest in over a week. Look for a high of 56 in Porterfield, 58 in Bondowell, right around 62 degrees in King. All of those temperatures still below normal for this time of year, but a big warm up is on the way as we head into the uh, middle and end of next week. There's a lot of hot air across the southwestern part of the country right now. That is going to shift east as we head into Monday and Tuesday, and then some of that heat is going to bubble north as the jet stream buckles across the central part of the country. We're going to watch a warm front move through Thursday morning. South of that warm front, 70s and 80s. Meanwhile, a cold front will move through during the afternoon. This means a pretty good chance for some thunderstorms, and some of those could be severe. Now, when we hit 70 on Thursday, it'll be the latest since 1972. Yes, it has been a very cool spring. So tonight, cloudy skies with showers, lower 40s. Tomorrow, sun, clouds, and showers with an emphasis on sunshine. It's going to be breezy and warmer temperatures will be close to 60 degrees. We'll see sun and clouds on Sunday, upper 50s. Partly sunny conditions on Monday, a little bit cooler, mid 50s. Thickening clouds on Tuesday, breezy. Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 50s. Probably lower to mid 50s on Wednesday with a good chance of showers and thunderstorms storms north of that warm front. The warm front moves through on Thursday. Sun and clouds, thunderstorms, breezy temperatures getting up into the 70s. We cool down a little bit on Friday, but take a look at the rest of your 10-day forecast. As we get ready to move into mid-June, it looks like the warmth overall is here to stay with highs in the 60s and 70s. I mean, 10 days from now, Casey, we're almost at the midpoint of May already, and at that point you can say June is just a couple of weeks away. So, I mean, really, it's about time. Yeah. It's going to happen. Yeah, you were right. I think people are going to be happy with that. <laughs> Unless it ends up being wrong. Yeah, let's, well, let's hope that's not that the case. That never happens. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much, All Cameron. Right. Now, let's take a look at what you'll see tonight at 6 o'clock.